Kachuk and scores! Nice Shabbat curl and drives and scores! And the Senators win it. Five apart, another chance, Mavica scores! Great Mavica! Oh, and oh, got it! Green! Oh, Green again! And scores! Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon and I'm your host. Now, before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore and on Instagram at Sense Talk. Now, this evening, the Ottawa Sanders took on the Vancouver Canucks in a very rare 5.30 p.m. Eastern start time. And going into tonight's game, Ottawa has won their last two out of three versus Vancouver. Tonight, they're making they're looking to make that three out of four games if they win tonight. Now, question for you, the fans. Comment below right now and let me know what you think. Would you like to see the O jersey become the Sanders' permanent third jersey next year? Comment below with your response. I look forward to reading all your responses in the comment section down below. As well, this Saturday at 5.55 p.m. Eastern Time here on youtube.com slash talk Join yours truly with Brandon Mackey and Matt Bosti for an exclusive pregame show before the Sens versus Habs game. That is this Saturday at 5.55 p.m. Eastern Time here on youtube.com slash talk Always a great time with those two. Do not miss it exceptional content. I'll see you there this Saturday at 5.55 p.m. Eastern Time. As well, go to SeatGeek.com and use the promo code SENSTALK to save $20 US off your first purchase. It's a great deal. Take advantage of that today. As well, we are honored to be sponsored by the premier culture magazine, Ottawa, Faces Magazine. Make sure to check out the new April issue from Faces Magazine today. Magazines to offer for free in grocery stores and select locations across Ottawa. And this month's issue features a cover interview with number four, Sanders legend Chris Phillips on his new role with the Sanders Community Foundation. The issue also his futures on Sanders, Star Drake Batherson, and Sportsnet's Kyle Bukowskis. Also, do not forget to follow Faces, Faces on their social channels for great content, crazy contests, plus more. That's at Faces Ottawa for their Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages. Now, yesterday, uh, Ottawa made a move. They signed second round selection Roby Jarventi. Uh, from Finland uh, to a three-year entry-level deal. Congratulations and welcome to the Sens organization, Roby. He will be reporting to the Belleville Sanders immediately, which is great news. Uh, this guy is a sniper. Uh, I believe he had 24, 25 points in 50 games this year uh, down in or across the pond in Finland. And I look forward to seeing what he can do in the next year or so with Belleville. And hopefully he can become a regular in the NHL lineup within the next few years. Now, starting, a night for, starting tonight for Ottawa was Marcus Hogberg. And for Vancouver, it was Thatcher Demko to the... Now to the first period we go where it did not start off great for Vancouver early on because three minutes in, Fermentin with his first NHL assist, he passes it to Victor Mete who finds an open lane right through the middle. Vancouver does not even go on Victor Mete who snipes a glove side past Thatcher Demko for his first goal and point as an Ottawa Sander, the Sens lead one to nothing early on and that goal by Victor Mete is exactly why I hope Victor Mete is uh, a fixture in the Sens line for the next few years at least because he just has that of offensive instinct and skill that not a lot of defensemen have and that play exactly showcased my point. Now after the first period of play Ottawa is up one to nothing. They got a couple of power play chances. Here are my, here are my first period thoughts. They got a couple of power play chances. Uh, Brady Kachuk looks dominant and the Sens came out flying. That was easily one of their better periods uh, this season and what's most notable is game in and game out since the trade deadline, Ottawa has gotten better every single game. Every single period, I would even argue. So, uh, Ottawa just continues to get better and plays better together. Uh, these young players are uh, leading the charge. And the Senators tonight are utilizing the lanes that have been left open by Vancouver. Which, of course, was seen with that Victor Mete goal. And, uh, yeah, Ottawa is just really taking advantage of their chances tonight. And, um, you know... It's, they're bound to score more than one goal tonight, hopefully. It is Thatcher Demko net, though, who always loves to rob Ottawa, so we will see. Uh, speaking of that uh, robbing, uh, Marcus Hogwork hasn't really been able to rob anyone because he hasn't really been tested. Sure, he has like 11 shots on net after the 20 minutes, but you know most of those shots were outside shots that were not even screened. Uh, he saw the puck and gobbled it in his chest. So Hogwork hasn't been tested yet, so uh, hopefully he doesn't get shaky later on in the game. And um, Stutzla had numerous great chances in that first period of play. He just couldn't bury a goal. Besides that, let's get to the second period of play where Ottawa is up by one. All right, that was a wild second period of play. So many goals happened. In fact, six goals between the two teams occurred in that second period of play. So many goals, in fact, that I only have time for one of your questions. That is ridiculous. 
But uh, let's start recapping all those goals. So less than a minute in, Chris turning on the rebound, puts it in. I think that's his second goal in his last three games. Seattle stock is going up. The Sens lead is going up. 2 nothing Ottawa. And then less than a minute later, two minutes into the second period of play, a beautiful pass from Brady Kachuk. Great little stick work there. Uh, Quinn Hughes gets confused. And Josh Norris, he's not confused. He puts it home on the doorstep on a one-timer. 3 nothing Sanders. Josh Norris's 15th goal of the season. He's now tied, uh, not tied, he's now lone spot in the lone spot for second in rookie goal scoring only behind Kirill Kaprizov, and it doesn't make any sense that Josh Norris is not being brought up in Calder uh, conversations. This kid is a stud. He is a first-line center, playing against guys like McDavid and, Ma and Matthews, etc., day in and day out. He's put 15 goals on the board this season for Ottawa, and defensively has not been a liability since the beginning of the season at the latest. So, for Josh Norris, he should be in the Calder conversation even though grandfather Kaprizov will win it. Uh, Josh Norris should be in the conversation. And regardless if he is it or is, regardless if he is or if he isn't, Josh Norris is going to be a hell of a player, and Sens fans are really lucky to have him on the team. By the way, Brady Kachuk, great pass there. We're going to speak about him in a second. But four minutes later, the Canucks took the lead, uh, didn't take the lead, but they cut into the lead to make it 3-1. to one. But less than a minute later after that, Thomas Shabbat, his first goal in 20 games, bar down, 4-1, to one. Ottawa, it's just an insane game for for both teams, frankly, in this period. Ottawa gets more of the goals here. Tom Shabbat, fifth goal of the season, first in 20 games. And he's looked really, really good uh, throughout this game. And it was bound to happen for him to score a goal. And there it is. Sends up 4-1. to one. But moments later, Hogberg turns it over. The Canucks take advantage. It's 4-2. to two. But with three minutes to go in the period, guess who? Brady Kachuk shimming his way through. Bar down, Gordie Howe hat trick. Ottawa now up five, the two. Brady Kachuk is ten points, has ten points in his last eight games played. He's an absolute stud. So Brady Kachuk, Josh Norris, the future so bright. Ottawa fans, that was a crazy period of play. Six goals, can you believe it? And um, you know, Brady Kachuk, his contract, he's an RFA. I wonder what he's going to demand. Ten points in his last eight games. He's just an He's just on an absolute heater right now. So, for a guy like Brady Kachuk, you know, uh, he's going to expect, he's going to demand a lot of money, and you give him that money, Ottawa. You give him every cent he wants, and then you slap that C on him, and you make sure he never leaves the Sanders organization. This guy's a guy that you cannot have leaving the Sanders organization. We've messed up with Alfie, we've messed up with Carlson, sort of, and we messed up with Stone. We cannot mess up with Brady Kachuk. Besides that, the sentence up 5-2 going into the third period of play. So let's answer your question, one of your questions, before we get to the third period portion of today's video. So the question comes in from Kaz. They ask, do you think the Sens sh sh will make a big free agent signing or trade for a big name this coming offseason, or is it too early? Well, you answer your question yourself there, Kaz. Yes, it's way too early. They already did that with Evgeny Dadanov, and I don't see a free agent being brought in here, like a big name one. Um, but through trade... Hey, you never know. You never know. If Eugene Melnick and Pierre Dorian and the rest of the Auburn Sanders management group uh, believe that this team is ready next year to compete, then I would not be shocked to see them make a trade. But I don't think they believe they're there yet. I think next year is a year where Ottawa will probably compete for a playoff spot, but I don't know if they'll make it or not. But they'll definitely compete. Uh, that being said, I don't know. I think I think it's too early to make a trade for a big name guy and through free agency. I think so as well. The only big name I could see happening is potentially Matthew Kachuk. Because since the Sens management loves to pair friends and family together. So why not? Sorry about the abrupt end to that clip. For some reason, my video software um, disconnected. Uh, but enjoy the third period portion of today's video because we got a lot to talk about. Sends win, sends win, sends win, sends win. Ottawa takes down Vancouver, and they win a 6-3 to three and a barn burner, ladies and gentlemen. In their last eight games since the trade deadline, Ottawa is 6-2-0, and oh, and they have been playing fantastic. In that third period of play, Colin White got the lone goal for Ottawa in the back of the empty net. And then moments later, Mark Togberg gives up a questionable goal to Vancouver to make it 6-3. to three. Doesn't matter. Sends win at 6-3. to three. And tonight, Eric Branstrom was fantastic. He hit the post twice, at least. Had a couple of scoring chances. And was easily one of his better uh, NHL games in his career. 
Artem Zub is a big factor into why Brandstrom has been playing so well as of late. Whoever Zub is paired with, his defensive part, Zub's defensive partner always turns into a better player when paired with Artyom. Uh, listen, Zub turned Mike Riley into a service bowl offensive player, and he's doing the exact same thing with Eric Brandstrom, plus more. So Zub was fantastic tonight, has been fantastic all season. Eric Brandstrom, easily one of his better games in his NHL career thus far uh, tonight. Alex Fermentin, two assists tonight, a breakaway shorthanded, he's been fantastic. Brady Kachuk, the Gordie Howe hat trick, he was really, really good as usual. Hold on. Josh Norris, continuing to do Josh Norris things. 15 goals in the season. Second now behind Kirill Kaprizov for the rookie scoring lead. As your sends win it in a huge fashion over the Vancouver Canucks. And I guess I'll give a shout out to Tom Shabbat too. Uh, the last few games, Tom Shabbat has looked so comfortable as of late. And I think many of you guys would agree with that. So for Tom Shabbat... To see this defensive core, Tom Shabbat, Eric Branson, Victor Mete, all these guys scoring, producing offensively, and more so defending really well, it's a great future of Sens fans, and tonight was just a glimpse into that great future. Now, the Sens Talk Star of the Night, voted by you, the fans, is as follows. I, uh, I posted the poll a bit ago, but as you guys know, in today's video, we've had some technical difficulties, so I had to record this segment. Wasn't too thrilled about that, but I'm happy to, re to announce the Sense Talk Star of the Night voted by you, the fans, once again. And the results didn't change, so it doesn't matter. So in third, in fourth place with 3% of the vote, Josh Norris with a goal tonight. Third star with 4% of the vote, Thomas Shabbat. Uh, second star with 15% of the vote, Eric Brandstrom. And your Sense Talk Star of the Night with 78% of the vote, it is Brady Kachuk with the Gordie Howe hat trick. Absolutely electric tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Now, besides that, the next Sens game is this Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time versus the Montreal Canadiens. Remember, this Saturday at 5.55 p.m. Eastern Time here on YouTube.com slash Talk. Join yours truly, myself, Brandon Plant, with Brandon Mackey and Matt Bosti for a special pregame show before the Sens versus Habs game. Uh, we're going to have lots of great content there. It's always a fun time with those guys, so make sure to stop by, say hi, and uh, have a good time with us. But besides that, the Sens, they win it 6-3 to three over Vancouver. And make sure to like this video, share this video with circle stuff, and click the big red button down there and subscribe to us. But importantly of all, do not forget to turn the notification bell on so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Besides that, thank you all for watching. I'll see you Saturday for the live, the live pregame show. And a hell of a win tonight, Ottawa. Let's keep it going. I'll see you Saturday. Go, let's go.